Welcome back, guys. This is the last chapter of this course. I will introduce the Huawei Cloud EIs modules. This chapter is an overview of Huawei Cloud EI. We will learn about the concept of AI, an original of EI, and details about the Huawei Cloud EI. Okay, let's first see the trend of AI and the origin of EI. AI technologies have become very uh, popular and uh, this mainly just shows the most application directions of AI technologies and including their stage of development. Let's see the right of the image, the ensemble learnings and virtual realities are falling and they are deploying very slowly. And uh, deep learning, machine learning and uh, NLPs and computer vision and they have the, uh, become the mature. And uh, the voice recognition takes the lead in the uh, commercial deployment. But uh, for technology platforms such as machine learning and deep learning and uh, graphic analysis, edge and computing and a lot of platforms, it will take two or two, five years uh, to reach the plateaus. Machine learning and deep learning for enterprise are on the peak and uh, the weakest link of the AI are intelligent robot, blockchain and uh, natural language generations. Next, let's see Huawei AI's development process. It mainly consists of three steps, the reach on the basic series, internal practice and uh, internal enablement. And Huawei has the four libraries to do this work on the reach on uh, basic series. And the rest of the libraries is for big data. And the uh, uh, Norman lab, lab is for map. And the uh, Shannon lab is for algorithm. And uh, after the basic series research, the next step is internal practice. AI can be used in GTS. And the GDS is the means and the intelligent site service. And also, AI can be in, in the supply chain and the intelligent loading, such as intelligent loading, path operation, and intelligent warehouse. And if you use the Huawei's smartphone, you must know it uh, uh, using AI uh, technology. For example, intelligent airbus and uh, risk control and uh, recommendations and uh, recapture detections even in process IT AI is used mm, such as uh, intelligent operations and uh, uh, machine test and machine translation the last step is uh, internal in enablement this is what we call EI as the enterprise intelligence, so Huawei's EI provides a lot of practical services for the enterprise, such as heterogeneous computing. We use CPU, GPU, or AI chips to help our company solve for, uh, computing problems. Huawei AI also provides general, general services such as vision and uh, voice recognition. Some companies may need machine learning platform, deep learning platform or graphic computing platform. You can find it on Huawei EI. And the most important point of the Huawei EI is industry enablement. For example, intelligent logist and intelligent question and answers part and the intelligent rec recommendation. And Huawei EI's development is from the inside to outside. Otherwise, we combine chips, terminal, and the cloud computing capabilities. All of this is to make the different office artificial intelligence. That is Huawei's development direction. Here is the basic architecture of the Huawei Cloud AI. As we can see, the bottom layers is the chip and the system, such as GPU and the X6. Uh, uh, eight sticks. They provide the computing power to algorithms in the basic platforms such as machine learning and uh, uh, deep learning and uh, so on. And the, the algorithms can be used in many fields. 
in the industry field such as intelligent transformers and intelligent logist and uh, and so on and in the general field and uh, uh, such as image voice and so on therefore Huawei's EI can provide many intelligent service and of course Huawei provides all systems manage and the technical support as like the the left part and uh, they have the systems manage and uh, the first deployment and the integrations and then use the, the domains the special models to analysis uh, uh, the data and uh, used to support their uh, financing and uh, money functioning and e-commerce and IoT to provide uh, many solutions to, for them. So far, Huawei's Cloud EI has many partners all over the world. The image shows the part. As far as I know, the top 10 financial in, uh, enterprise in China use Huawei Cloud EI. Even 16% uh, of national enterprise in China use the Huawei Cloud EI. Then the global top 15 uh, telecoms operator have used the Huawei Cloud EI. Also, Chinese safe cities project also use Huawei Cloud EI. Now, let's see the more details ab about Huawei Cloud EI. It's the interface of the website. Huawei Cloud EI mainly consists of the five parts. EI basic, uh, basic forms, platforms, EI big data, EI virtual recognition, EI voice and uh, semantics and uh, EI industry uh, things. Next, we will introduce them one by one. First, let's see the basic platform service. Uh, it mainly includes the machine learning service, deep learning service, and uh, uh, graph imaging service, and the deep learning HMI, and the bench uh, service. A machine learning service can help our users quickly discover the data pa uh, partners and uh, uh, build the predict predictive uh, model through machine learning technique. Uh, then, uh, the programs as a predictive analytics uh, solution. Deep learning service is one-stop deep learning platform service based on Huawei powerful high-performance computings. It has a large number of the built-in uh, optimized network models and algorithms that can help users easily use deep learning technology more convenient and efficient. Graph engine service provides the capabilities for searching and analyzing the relationship between uh, graphics. It is widely used in the social relationship analysis, recommendation, and uh, precision marketing, uh, public opinions, and uh, social listening, information, branding, and so on. Deep Learning HMI provides the infrastructure and tools to accelerate the cloud computing for users, such as TensorFlow, MXNet, and CNT Key, and so on. Bench service is a distributed cloud computing service for running large scale parallel bench jobs. It is supposed to automatic guardians and resource management and the data loadings of the massive tasks. It can be widely used in large scale parallel computing scenarios such as deep learning, genetic testing and video analysis. This image shows the whole process of machine learning service from the feature analysis to the model application. At the beginning we have to find the typical uh, features and the related data source. Mm, these features and data are based on the uh, data uh, understandings. Then we have to understand the meaning of data and evaluate the quality of data and then we do the data process. And that we have the many uh, methods to do the data process such as to solving the missing data and uh, then we do the feature engineering and the next part is the, the call the step and building our uh, uh, building our model they allow us to do this uh, this uh, in these steps for example 
uh, algorithm selection parameter adjustment and training models and evaluating model and so on. After evaluation, the model also can be used in the practice. MLS has the four characters as the image source. The first one is convenient and build uh, model buildings. You can pick, drag, and uh, drop the models if you want. And the second one is the uh, interactive the models analysis. It is very clear to see the results. And uh, the third one is uh, it has the big algorithms library, and it has more than. Uh, 15 deep learning algorithms. The last one is the visualization. Your models, your data process, and your results also can be brought uh, it was easy to see the results and understand the results uh, uh, clearly. And uh, the MLS only has only needs the user's data and uh, user's model. Then it can finish the data processing feature explore, uh, exploration and uh, machine learning based models and uh, model evolution. This is the uh, online service and uh, you can use the, the user data and uh, then do the data processing and uh, then to do the feature processing and the uh, model based learning and then to model evolution. And if the model evolution is not performs not well, and then is to adjust the uh, data processing, it has the circle, and you can mm, uh, train your models to perform very very well. Uh, note that you can uh, provide the, the offline or online the data, and uh, it can solve the offline and the online the, the service. This image is the operating interface of the MLS. It shows how to drag and uh, drop the model if you want, and you can select at the list. And there are the many uh, tools and to do the data pre-processing and uh, to select your algorithms like the uh, NVBS and uh, neural networks and many many and algorithms are uh, supported in uh, the MLS. And uh, the, uh, our algorithms are as uh, true, and we can and dra drag and, and models. We can see it is really simple and easy to use. Up to now, here are two very successful cases. They are application market and LV big data platforms. MLS is used in to recommend an application in application markets such as music, news, and games. This can improve the CTR by the 13%. On the LV uh, big data platforms, um, uh, MLS co uh, collect uh, virtual static data such as engines, uh, retinal speeds, and uh, temperature and the uh, vessel speed and the uh, ties the pressures then it uh, creates the predicts model and uh, pro uh, provides the prediction uh, meeting things suggested for the enterprise and the uh, drivers and that uh, that price, uh, it uh, can reduce the cost this page shows the basics free from framework of deep learning service Huawei uh, deep learning uh, deep learning service is supported by the big data and uh, it uh, uh, provides the data lab, uh, library uh, service and uh, it's really very useful for deep learning and uh, development work it also has many models all models have been train, uh, trained well and users can directly use the uh, dls for image classification object detection uh, object detections and uh, semantic analysis and so on um, most important is its development environment is a web, a web interface and the model can be quickly uh, integrated with the app. This is very attractive and for uh, the enterprise. This is a successful case of DLS and uh, an object recognition systems. It has very good performance in the actual construction site. Firstly, we damage the object models that needs to be identified, such as people, warning signs, 
and health mats and cabinet and antenna and so on this object must be labeled in the image then we define some rules for example there must have one warning sign in the stains next we can train the model and to make it find the object we defined in the stains even all the object follow the rules or not we got a uh, uh, good uh, feedback in this case. This shows another successful case. It is the device uh, identification and test recognition service. We have used it in Huawei smartphone and uh, it used a uh, deep learning model. And Huawei used the big data to train this model, such as device position and device features. After uh, evaluation, it is used in smartphone. This is based on DLS. Let's see GES. It is the graph engine and it provides the hyper large scales, integrated graph analysis, and the query. Uh, large scales, high and concurrency, and uh, low latency, and uh, are its characteristics. For an attribute the map with 1 billion nodes and uh, 100 billion edge. And the GES can get a response in a, a second. It's very fast. GES supports the graphs with the standard attribution and the extended graph this. It uh, provides the powerful models descriptions, descriptions capabilities. It is compatible with mainstream graphic computing frameworks and the graphic queries interface. As shown in the image, the user selects the algorithms and models, then input his data. GS will give him the results. The results can be in the web portals, apps, model terminals, and so on. GS the powerful abilities are based on rich graph analysis algorithms libraries and high performance graph computing kernel and distribute high performance graph storage engines. Besides, it supports the four extinct attribute diagrams and the innovative the graph engines the kernel design, uh, op uh, open source interface, and uh, integrated design of analysis and queries. Here, let's see two successful cases of the GES. One is routing planning. A if the routing has the hundred of uh, the thousand nodes and lines, it will take uh, 6.8 hours to finish the planning. But for GS, it may only take a few minutes. That will improve the emphasis of traffic greatly. Another case is auto insurance for the prevention, as for GS can deal with attributes the maps with 1 billion nodes and 100 billion eight. Use GS to analysis the relationship of the all buyers. You can actually find the floating link groups. This will save the millions for enterprise. Next, we will see more common service. For which recognition, face recognition service can quickly detect a face in the image, the analysis of facial key point information. Uh, obey facial attributes and uh, implement privacy uh, comparing and uh, uh, re uh, retrieval of the face. This service can be used in identified uh, authentication and uh, e attendance and trace tracking and uh, passage follow analysis. Image recognition service is uh, advanced deep learning technology. It can accurately identify the virtual uh, the contact image it can recognize up to uh, 23,000 object scenarios and the concepts of the touch. It provides the target detectors and attribute recognized service. That can help users accurately identify and understand image contact. Optical character recognition service is used to convert characters in image and uh, scan copies into uh, editable uh, text. It can replace the manual rec recordings to improve the business efficiency. It can be used to identify the test from ID cards, driving lessons, uh, virtual lessons, and so on. 
and contact uh, moderation service and be, is based on image text and video detection technologies it can automatically uh, detect uh, pornographic uh, contact and uh, advertisement uh, and the terrorism and the terrorist related uh, contact and assist and sensitive the political information it can help the customer reduce the non complacency risk in their business Deepla service adopts the signals pro, uh, processing and uh, advanced deep learning technologies it provides the delivered tools like uh, dark enhance and uh, defog and uh, super uh, resolutions uh, it can enhance the image that is taken in low light conditions or backlight it can remove the haze in images and it also can uh, reconstruct low resolution images into HD uh, images. The second part is the speech semantics and the machine translation service provides the, the faster uh, translation capabilities between the different language for users and through the APIs you can make the translation and test to speech service is the uh, service that can uh, convert the test into the uh, uh, lifelike voice uh, you can choose your uh, time throws and the voice loss and speeds and uh, automatic speech recognition service allows you to uh, convert audios recording into the test it can uh, recognize the real time audios from different sources natural language processing service provides the natural language related service such as the water segmentations names the entirely identifications keyword extractions and sort uh, test similarities it can be used in intelligent question and answers systems and the converse distance and bot and public uh, opinions analysis contact recognitions and uh, e-commerce elevation and analysis and the converse distance bot service the hyper in price quickly built releases and manage the intelligent question and answer systems uh, it can create a knowledge base through analysis the intelligence the document if you connect it to your service systems it will be a self-service robot OCR is very important part in the common services. It can accept the different kinds of input data such as documents, ID cards, business cards, nature things, and tests, and so on. Then the data will be processing by the high pre uh, precision OCR recognition engine. The data is pre processing, identified, and the post uh, uh, pro uh, processed in the engine. Among them, pre-processed mainly involves removing background, uh, test uh, positioning, and so on. The identified processing is based on deep learning. Post-processing mainly involves uh, language corrections and format corrections, and so on. At last, you will get uh, structures test in uh, encoding that Excel files and JSON data and website and uh, it uh, is very convenient to edit your data if your input data has many problems such as uh, um, blurred image noisy wrong line and mixed max the chinese and english and other languages you also can use the oci to uh, solve it and uh, it will finish it perfectly this image shows what contact uh, uh, moderation service can do it uh, can uh, automatically detect a uh, pronounced concept and uh, others uh, um, a serious uh, serious contact as the image shows the image is about uh, the Obama then it will get a political tag for Dibala it can enhance the brightness of the picture it also can remove the haze in the image here we compare our recognition with the uh, mini streams aggregation as we can see Dibla service performs the better and uh, next we will see is uh, some industry specific uh, service and the uh, industry specific uh, 
devices that are leading in seven areas, we can use the AI and uh, uh, optimize the reasoning technologies in uh, logistics uh, industries. Then the enterprise the logistics uh, will be uh, the uh, digital and intelligent. It will reduce the logistics the operations costs and uh, improve the logistics the operating efficiency. Adding uh, intelligent logistics services, it covers all the logistics chains such as warehouse picking and uh, routing, storage routing, planning, and so on. Intelligence manufacturing services provide the services covers the design and the productions, logistics, sales, and the service. It helps the enterprise building the leading position. In the financial field, we have the intelligent financial service. It helps the financial customers quickly build a secured and perfect financial solutions to help them avoid the risk of a bear market. Intelligent retail service it helps a new retail enterprise quickly and build uh, intelligent platforms. It provides the intelligent E2E solution for the customs centric and uh, data driven expensive re uh, retail industry. Intelligent power service it helps uh, electric power com companies quickly build uh, a pr platform. It uh, provides the intelligent uh, solution for power generation, power sales, and power uh, changes, and so on. It covers the power uh, stacing site selections. Intelligent transport service, it provides the service such as uh, smart signal lights, and uh, it can reduce the traffic manager costs and it moves uh, urban traffic as efficient. It helps water supplies the companies achieve intelligent transformation, reduce urgent consumer pricing, and improve operation efficiency. Uh, this image shows the intelligent logistic solutions. This solution is optimized based on Huawei's internal supply chain. It covers the uh, materials, transportation, and warehouse, and deliveries, and uh, clearance. It can help the company transforms to sm uh, smart uh, logistics. Uh, in the uh, in material manage, it can help companies calculate the amount of the materials. Through the data, it can help a company plan and optimize the uh, warehousing. And uh, here, it lets us see the bin packing service. It is the important part. Uh, in intelligent logistic solution. As the image shows, the solution of the core model is based on the F FD and the turbo list and the DOE and also we need the DDS and uh, this model is constrained by the more than 15 conditions such as material and uh, ships and center of the gravities and so on. Due to its stronger computing power, it can provide a lot of service, such as stacking order, loading rate, number of servicos, and uh, dispatcher route, and so on. Uh, it can improve the efficiency, increase the loading rate, and uh, reduce the logistic cost. This is about cloud-based intelligent manufacture solution. It covers all supplies to chain, includes the float process and the bank. It is based on the large algorithms libraries, a lot of the constraints and the intelligent uh, test recognition abilities through the APIs. It can provide the company production manager systems, sales management uh, system, warehouse management systems and transportation management system and delivery management system. It can help the company solve the problems such as requirement forecast, processing forecast, and pickup pace planning, and signature comparison, and so on. Here, let's induct intelligent risk control. It is a great service in Huawei AI. It needs user input data to build uh, risk uh, control models. 
and the, the data includes the event source and the dimensions and the tenant and so on. Besides, it also needs users define some business use. This service can help users to do risk control business management, risk control event intervenings, and risk control alarms distribution and so on. New retails is a hot development directions now, while AI provides the cloud-based intelligence shop solution for the new retail. It's the big, uh, biggest highlight uh, uh, is the customer identifications. Uh, this is the best message to the face data, excellent deep learning models and face uh, detection algorithms, attributes classification. The model is very useful through the training by the message to face data. It can have, it can detect uh, customer's face as soon as the click comes through in the shop and uh, it can do real time recommendation to the customers. This solution has been used in practice now. This uh, workflow shows the cloud-based intelligent customer service solution. Actually, there are many intelligent questions and answer services in market. They are all based on the large word library question answer library in uh, data storage. It can deal with the simple things, but uh, what is the uh, customer service solution is different. It has knowledge mining tool service, long speech recognition service, and even customer service and quality control service. This makes our question answer systems more intelligent. Here, let's see the intelligent recommendation. Based on the user data, the system can intelligent to recommend services, and the results will meet the user's habits. From user's data, good data, behavior data, we can analyze these relationships and uh, build the user's profiles. And they are user's label, interest and performance and so on. The bottom layers of intelligent recommendations has the machine learning and deep learning algorithms models. That is the, the workflow. Uh, one way cloud AI also uh, can be used in parameters adjustment for intelligent uh, uh, style planning and uh, it can do driver test with a test such as uh, 2D map and network information. It is a little similar to root planning in intelligent logist system, but it also can do automatic turning of antenna such as Amazon's antenna heat, medical tilt, and uh, electrical tilt. And this is the basic engineering parameters and uh, uh, antenna libraries and so on. It performs good in automatic road test report and uh, providing the antenna's adjustment recommendations. Huawei Cloud EI also has the big data services such as data ingesting service. It is a service to ingest the large amount of data in real time. It has flexible data classing abilities and efficient data transmission ability and uh, real time data attributes abilities. Users can easily use it to process analysis data. Cloud data migration service provides the data migration service between a homogeneous or the heterogeneous data source. It's supposed to use as build file systems, release no database and data warehouse and the no circles and the big data cloud services and object storage. Cloud stream service provides the full stack capabilities for processing streams to big data in real time. This service is fully uh, compatible with the Archie Flake jobs and the Spark APIs. Map Reduce Service provides the enterprise level big data clusters on the cloud. It can easily run big data con components such as Hadoop, Spark, and HBase, and Kafka, and Storm. Uh, recommendation Engine Service help users to uh, build to standard recommendation systems. It has various recommendations such as E, uh, Converse, and uh, news and so on. 
The data lake inside the service is a big data processing analytic service without uh, ETL and Circle and uh, Spark programs. Users can approach the multi source uh, data on Huawei Cloud. Cloud table service is based on no Circle data storage service on Huawei Cloud. It has combined the OpenTSDB and uh, GeneMister. It also can read and write data in millisecond level. It is fit for storing message data. This service has been widely used in industries such as Lot LV and uh, Finance and uh, Smart City. Data warehouse service is scalable for managed and out-of-the-box analytic uh, database service. It is based on the Flushing Insights library. It also supports the standard circle statements and BI tools. It can help users economically and efficiently mine and analyze massive volumes of data. It very quickly reduced the user's costs. Cloud Search Service is a fully hosted distributed search service. It is based on Elastic Search. Uh, it helps users search structures and understand the data, uh, statistics, and the reports. In addition, it is fully compatible with Elastic Search APIs. Data Lake Factory is one-stop big data collaboration development platform. It helps users finish data modeling and the data integration, scraper development, job scaling, and job monitoring. It will help users quickly build the big data processing centers. Next, let's see the architecture of digital injection service. DIS mainly has four parts. They are data collection and data transmission and data falling and uh, intelligent data processing. It can collect all the data from the uh, IoT in the real time. APIs and in agents uh, are available for, for the systems. In the process of data falling, the data will be extracted, cleaned, and uh, gathered. Then the data can be used in many ways, such as storage, analysis, calculation, mining, deep learning, and so on. Cloud Data Migration Service is based on the distributed computing framework. It can efficiently migrate a bunch of the data. It supports the common data sources, such as relational data sets and the OLAP database and the uh, no circle databases and the big data storage and file storage. It also provides the on-cloud and uh, off-cloud E2E data migration solutions. That meets various data migration requirements in big data scenarios. Even massive data based on the distributed com uh, computing framework CDM implements efficient a bunch of uh, data migration and supports the common data sources such as relationship uh, release, relational uh, databases. Cloud Stream Service is one of the most important services in IoT, as is shown in the image. It is based on the Flink, Spark Stream, uh, Machine Learning, Edge Computing, and the Flink IoT and the Geely Graph Computing. It can be used in car networking, uh, such as electronic things, and real-time alarm for a normal detection, and uh, CEP. Uh, it can be used in financial security, e-commerce, games, and, uh, and uh, advertising. For example, intelligent risk control, real-time rules engine, and gra uh, graph calculation, anti-fraud, real-time recognition, and uh, real-time uh, recommendations, and real-time monitoring. It has the dual agents, the dual service mode. This is industry's leading. This mode has the ability of the multi-talent -tal uh, and the physical multi-talent. It can meet the security requirements of VPI customers.
It has a lot of streaming circles capabilities support for Windows and uh, CEP scenario based uh, templates and uh, zero throughput. You can use it uh, easily and uh, it has uh, intelligent flow systems. In these systems, there are many useful functions such as um, machine learning parameters, extraction functions, IoT, geographic uh, uh, location functions, and uh, Blink uh, machine learning and uh, GLA graph computing and uh, many uh, useful modules. This is the architecture of MRS. MRSS moves the uh, offline big data platform to the cloud. MRS has the, all the services that uh, the enterprise needs from the device to the application. It has ECS, EVS, and uh, VPS devices. In data integrations, it can finish flames da uh, data collections and uh, uh, FTP service and FTP uh, data access, and uh, also can load uh, relation data imports. And uh, in the data storage, and uh, it, can, it has the distributed storage and uh, object storage, and the different type of data is supported. In data calculations, it can do bench processing and in-memory uh, computations and uh, micro-bench computing and uh, stream computing. In data analysis, it supports the uh, Hive data warehouse and the Spark Circle. At last, users can use Hadoop UI, uh, testicle workflow and uh, visualization tools in the service. Here, let's see the cloud table service. It is the millisecond level NoSQL database. It can store many types of data source, such as uh, Spantino Prony data source, such as the virtual tracker data, online education space distributed data. And it also can store time series data source, like uh, store transaction data, Electrometer data and water meter data. And when users have stored this data, they can analyze the data and uh, such as the, the trunk queries and the error queries and plot locations and OD trunk analysis. And uh, if we want to solve, uh, solve the time series data, and we can analyze it like that uh, time series data interplugation and the previous reducing and high mm, compressing and of the time series data and time series data uh, aggregations and data pre uh, prediction. This, may, this page shows the architecture of DWS. It is enterprise level cloud data warehouse. And through the data expressing service, it uh, can help uh, enterprise move data warehouse to the cloud. And uh, all the services of the big data can be used uh, to analyze this enterprise data. Then it will give the many kinds of solution to the enterprise, such as e-commerce solution, final store solutions, and uh, um, manufacturing solution, and uh, large business solutions. Okay, finally, this chapter we introduced the Huawei Cloud EI and uh, its power service. Now we have finished the whole courses. I hope you can continue to learn more about uh, deep learning. Also, you can practice your coding abilities. I suggest you apply for exam stations and uh, get the certification. Thank you for attending the whole courses. If you have any problems, please connect me. Thank you for your watching and good luck with your learnings. Bye.